Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your on Captain.com. If you've been getting city of error problems, this is the video for you. If you've been getting the little red or the yellow errors, stay tuned. We're going to take care of those in this video. Okay guys, let's troubleshoot some of the errors here. Um, one thing I want to make everyone aware of right off the bat is the seven day certificate. Now every seven days your jailbreak is going to quit working. That's not a big deal. You will have to go back to the computer and run Impactor and the Yalu uh, IPA file again. It's just a really simple process if you need help with that. I have a video here that will show you how to jailbreak 10.2. I'll put a, a link to it in the description. Okay. Next, after that, you want to make sure that if you're having issues in Cydia, that you open up Cydia. And one of the main things that people do in here is they just open it up. As soon as they open it up, they hit the search button or they, or they know what they're going to download. And they just tap everything real fast and they don't give Cydia a chance to load up. When you get the load screen, let everything load up before you, you know, start searching things out. I mean, it, you don't have to sit there for 10 minutes, but give it, you know, a, a maybe 5, 10 seconds to load up everything in Cydia. And also, uh, one thing you need to be aware of, too, is the more sources you have, the longer it's going to take for things to load up. And I've always been sharing that in my videos. I wanted to make everybody aware of that, but I want to share it again. Okay? Now, getting on to the errors. One thing about the errors is when you get one, it will tell you exactly the repo that it's coming from, okay? You need to take this information in this writing, whichever repo is causing the problems, and you need to go into Cydia and remove that repo, okay? We're going to remove a repo here so I can show you how we're going to do this, okay? And I'm just going to choose one here that I'm not currently using much of anything on. Um, let's see what we got here. There's only five tweaks in this one. I don't think I'm running anything on that. Now, so what you have to do is you have to hit edit. And then you'll get the little red button beside it, the little minus sign. Tap the minus sign. Then tap delete. And it'll run through the process. Now, once you go through this process, you need to make sure that you go in and run iCleaner Pro after the, after you have deleted all the sources you want. You don't need to do it after you do it every time. Just once, once you finish going through your sources and only use the sources, guys, that you're going to have tweaks for. Don't have a bunch of sources in there because it's just going to bog your device down, take up memory, take longer to load. It's just going, I mean, you might say, well, you got all these sources on your phone. I do that because I have to have these uh, for these videos I make. And trust me, I have deleted probably 10 or 12 different ones today. So once you come in here, get iCleaner Pro right here, with a little brush on it, open it up. And once it loads up, let it go through and clean now i'll show you what i did earlier after i was able to remove some of my sources you'll see right here that it says clean just tap clean and it'll do its thing i'm not going to do that because of time but i'll show you what happened when i did mine okay when i run icleaner pro a while ago look what i saved i freed up 2.07 gigabytes of space now, guys, if you only have a 16 gig, or some of you may even have the 8 gigabyte device, I mean, that's a fourth of what you've got. So, you need to keep in mind, you know, that's, that's major, and that can really, really affect the performance of your device. And once you have deleted all of these uh, sources and things like that, open your app switcher up and pull up. Cydia and just close it out that way when you open it back up it'll reload and refresh all of the new sources that you have so guys hopefully this has been a little bit helpful and will share and show some light 
on what's been going wrong. And one other thing before we go about the jailbreak. Now, if you have to run your jailbreak again, or like I said, you have to go to your computer every seven days, uh, I have a video that shows you how to jailbreak. But if you need to run Yalu, if your device, you know, like it runs out of power or you power it off or whatever, what you have to do then is come in here and find where you have Yalu downloaded. And it should be right here pretty close up here at the top. Open it up. Now, if your device is not jailbroken, it will say go right here. All right. Now, if you are, if it says already jailbroken, then you're, you're fine. You know, that's not going to be the issue. But if City is crashing and not, not opening up for you, then you need to make sure that your device doesn't have the word go right here. If it does, then you need to sneak it on Yalu and you'll be good to go. Okay. Hope this video was helpful. Give me that thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you need in the comments. I'll try to get some information to you that will help you. And if you have any problems, come in the comments and, and let me know what's going on. And I'll try to help you the best I can. As always, guys, if you aren't a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter. And keep coming back.